You're listening to a Count Out Podcast. Yo, yo, Fast Show's a good show. Let's grip it and rip it. You got mochi? Oh, I got mochi, you got the pugs, and we are blasting the track. Let's do it! That's right. It's all about fucking off the cuff, straight out of work. Grab a glass of wine onto the call. I'm looking at Curtis. I think he's laying on a bed with a pug. Yeah, that's right. This is the very first uh, podcast coming live from a bed. I yeah, don't, I don't know if you've heard hot. anything. <laughs> it's I don't coming. know if you've heard anything to the to the uh, to the contrary to that, but it's not true. This is the very first podcast coming live from my bed. There you go. Well, you're do, you're doing it doing it right, and I got no problem with it. If you fall asleep mid podcast, look, we've all been there. I've fallen asleep mid commentary before, so they, these are the things that happen. I noticed you're fucking flying high here. You got uh, mochi. You got mm-hmm. yourself like mochi the the dog, not yes. the not the snack. No, no, I do you have got some yourself, of that somewhere though. <laughs> you got a nice glass of what is that? A, a nice uh, chardonnay. I think it's a pinot, actually. A pino. Yeah. Pino grigio. Yeah, people grigio. Yeah. That's it. Fine. Hi, come in. Give the wife, wife a kiss on the cheek. I'm sorry. Uh, I know we need to prepare to go to Japan in two days, and I know I'm home late, but here's a glass of wine. I've got to go talk about wrestling for an hour. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, and I'm taking the dog with me because she gets very excited when I get home. So she'll tolerate me for a bit, and then she'll leave to go hang out with Amy. But, yeah, we're here. What do we talk about? Because I think we had a plan. We are going to do something. But you said you were immediately going to derail the we show. So had I had a started... plan, but I'm going to derail yeah. the show here. I want to ask yeah. you a question. Sure. And I, I'm going to do this now because I don't know if this is enough to be a show. It might be. Maybe it might be. Who knows? Yeah, find I'm, out. But I'm going to do it now. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. How many belts is too many belts? In, in a promotion or on me as a champion? In, in a promotion? Um, it depends how they're used is the answer. Uh, I would say when they're all carried by one, like, Thunder Liger, there's no amount that's too many if it's some kind of mega crown was, scenario. Uh, that was from eight. That was from, like, eight different companies. Yeah. My main problem would be, like, when there's a lot of titles doing the same thing, then I feel like it can start to dilute it. Mm. For example, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a big fan That's of merging that- titles when they start to do things like that. I, I think you're right. See, okay, so here, let me, let me, I'm going to have some context because the whole thing that I saw was, it was from a, a thread, not a tweet, because I don't tweet anymore because fuck Elon Musk. Uh-huh. It was from a thread that I saw mm-hmm. that was uh, comparing belts in various companies. Mm-hmm. Now, if I asked you, yeah, who has more belts in the company? Who has more titles in the company, WWE or AEW? Or in AEW, do you count all the Ring of Honor shit? Yep. Just like in WWE, you count the NXT ones. Oh. Surely WWE then, right? Because they've got kind of like Two world champions, two IC champion. I mean, I haven't watched in a and while. Two sets of tag the, belts. I think they've maybe got trios now, then all of that in NXT as well. Like, I feel like they've got triple the amount of titles. Like, they've got sort of like three lots, whereas AEW have maybe two lots. I don't know. What do you got? 35 total belts between the two companies. Between? WWE has. Between, the, between WWE and AEW. Okay. WWE does have more, mm-hmm. 18 to 17. 
Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. That counts that counts all of the Ring of Honor belts and 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 the uh the major titles and championships uh and things like that, mm-hmm. including like the crown jewel and the Owen Hearts and stuff like that. Yeah. Now, now if I were to have I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Mm-hmm. If I were to have you guess mm-hmm. how many belts how many belts, has? major titles, Fuck, things like that did New Japan have? Yeah, let me just run them down real quick. So there's the – actually, there may be this more. There's the world, the global, uh, the never, the KOPW, the junior, the junior tag, the world tag, the strong tag, the strong belt, um, the trios, I bet 10. Um, <laughs> who else am I forgetting? Is that all of them? That is not all of them. Oh, okay. I said junior, didn't I? Um, yep. Hmm. Or oh, the TV, whatever that thing is. The mm-hmm. Jeff Cobb belt. Okay, so that's yeah. 11. Um, da, 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 da. Who am now I forgetting? I, I added I added in the major tournaments. Oh, you count them as well. titles. Okay, then we'll then, then so I'm at 11. Then I mean, a trophy's, a trophy's as good as a belt, right? Yeah, yeah. G1, um, New Japan Cup, World Tag League, Best of the Super Juniors, Super Junior Tag League. Uh, so that, oh, and then Super J Cup, I guess you'd count whenever they actually run it. So what, 17 as well? Uh, so you're forgetting the uh, IWGP women's title. <laughs> yeah, so are they though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so are they though. <laughs> yeah, you're forgetting okay. the strong women's title. There's a strong women's title? There is a strong women's title currently held I'm by the that. boss. Oh, really? Isn't, doesn't she have the IWGP women's title? No, she lost it. She lost it to uh, Mayu Iwatani. Okay, so we're at, what, 18? Yeah, 19 with the Super J Cup. Wow. <laughs> so Seems oh, you excessive. also forgot KOPW. So. I said KOPW. Oh, did you say KOPW? Mm-hmm. I got them. I got them right here. I got them right. so IWGP World Heavyweight Championship, mm-hmm. IWGP Global Heavyweight Championship, IWGP Women's Championship, IWGP Junior Heavyweight Title, uh, NJPW World TV Title, KOPW twenty twenty four currently, mm-hmm. Never Open Weight Strong Open Weight, IWGP Heavyweight Championship, IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship, Strong Open Weight Tag Team Championship, mm-hmm. Never Open Weight Six Man Tag Team Championship, Strong Women's Title. New Japan Cup, Best of Super Juniors, G1 Climax, Super Junior Tag League, World Tag League, and the semi-regular Super J Cup. So that's 18 titles or championships, 19 in a year with a Super J Cup. That's that's too many, right? Like, yeah. I, I guess I could understand it with, with a so company well. like AEW or WWE where they've got they've they've got hours and hours and hours of TV to fill. Mm-hmm. But like well, see, what you're forgetting is that they neglect half these titles, so it doesn't matter. You never see them, so it's cool. That's fair, I guess. <laughs> so why, why do we why do we still have them? Yeah, well, th- this is a good point because, like, they've just got, like, Sasha Banks trotting about holding one, you know what I mean? Like, but not actually defending it. Like, I just, I, I can't, I don't see why. Like I, I could strike a bunch of these from the record right now. Well, all the strong titles could be merged with their counterpart. So I would merge the strong and the never into one new just open weight title, whether you want to call that never or just an open weight thing. I'd do that. I'd do the same with the world tag as well. I'd do the same with the strong women's. So just do away with three right there and then. Yeah, and they say like, oh, well, those are to be defended in America. And it's like, guys, if we're going to a New Japan show, whether it's in America or whether it's in England or whether it's in Japan, I want to see the Japanese wrestlers. Also, you've got like 
you've had whoever is like the New Japan tag champions holding the strong for ages anyway. They're literally just holding two sets of belts. So you, you've all but merged them anyway. So just do away with the bullshit. Like, yeah, I, I, I don't see why anyone would challenge for one set of belts. Why would anyone in America be like, oh, I have a, I have a bone to pick with TMDK. I'm going to challenge them for the strong open weight title. That never no. works. That never works. It's always no. so dumb. They're going to want it. They're going to want the belt that's more prestigious, the IWGP Championship, and and the strong open weight just tags along with it. Fuck that. Yeah, it's stupid. I just I. It blew my fucking mind that we have as many titles in New Japan as they do in WWE. Where they literally uh, sorry, have to we feel, have more, feel like six we have hours of like live TV a week. <laughs> more than AEW and the same amount as WWE or more than WWE when we have a Super J Cup. Yeah. That blew my fucking mind, dude. It's excessive. It's so excessive. Mm-hmm. Like I, I understand the different leagues: Super Junior Tag League, World Tag League, the cli- the G One Climax. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a tournament-based company. Or oh, I have no problem with any of those. It, to be honest, yeah. I wish Super J Cup would run more often. If anything, I yeah. I, I would yeah. like it if they ran it overseas regularly. So it's like the overseas tournament, but run by New Japan. But it's like a touring tournament. I think that would be cool. You know how they've run in the UK and in the States and stuff before. That would be really cool. That would be so fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. That'd be so fucking cool. And do the jacket. I always got to do the jacket. Mm. And I think the 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 issue with this mm-hmm. that I'm I'm seeing is like the tr- the trophies and things like that are just as important as the belts, right? Mm-hmm. Because like you you go through a month of the G1 Climax. You go through a month of the best of the Super Juniors mm-hmm. and you carry that fucking trophy around. I mean, what Hiromu like carried around for eight months even after he fucking lost the fucking it's, challenge. It's even, yeah, which was ridiculous actually. Once you actually do the challenge, if you don't win that belt, you can't carry that trophy around anymore. Like, it's like you fucking blew your chance kind of thing. I feel like you. Yeah, but it's not a it's not a money in the bank briefcase though, you know? It's not a th- like it I could, suppose. But it but it's it, like yeah, going, look keep, how I won this trophy and then fucking blew my opportunity. Is yeah, how I see fucking it. hit the trip wire right at the fucking finish line. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I guess that that's makes what sense. that's what I mean. It's kind of like, okay, I didn't quite capitalize on this, so it needs to go on my shelf, not be trotted around like I'm fucking the uncrowned champion, which I'm clearly not, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So I, I guess the thing like that just blew my mind is we, we, the new Japan fan, I say we fucking, I, we, the new Japan Wait. fans have to, to, they, they watch a company that has one third, the roster mm-hmm. and just as many belts. Yeah. And no live TV. <laughs> <laughs> and an app that barely I, works. <laughs> And an app that barely fucking works. Yeah. So I, I, I just had to, I had to get your thoughts. So let, let's distill them that. down then. That let's, this will be the the point of this episode. How would we okay. correct Beltamania running wild? Which would go and which would stay? I already covered the merging the strong shit into it. So when you just look at, if we go, okay, so the, I've fixed the female situation. There's just going to be one belt and they're actually going to get matches and we're going to do stuff with that and not just pretend it's a thing. That would be how I would that fix, be cool? fix that. That Wouldn't would that just be, cool? just be unbelievable, right? And then the strong tag into the world tag, there's one tag team set of belts and they defend wherever it needs to be, be it the States or like I'm gonna, Japan. I'm going to one-up you on that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna roll the junior heavyweight tag team into the into all three of them, merge them all together, and make one open weight tag division. Mm, I disagree. I okay. I feel like this is how you could fix if you were gonna merge, like I said, say they merge like the strong open weight and the never open weight into a new open weight division. I could see in that scenario going, okay, you know what? The strong open weight tag and are going to become like 
an actual open weight tag team division. Then you could do juniors, open, and heavy tags, and that could work. That could give somebody something to hold that's different, and the rules are it's got to be a junior and it's got to be a heavy. So that could create new combinations, and I think that could be good for teams, right, and could give okay. more people things to do. But then we've got the never open weight six-man tag. But that's trios, and that can be any combination of. Because those trio just, gauntlets and stuff that they used to do like back at the start of Wrestle Kingdom were always a great way to just get a ton of people on the show, show off the factions and things like that. Like I don't mind if it serves a purpose. It's when it's doubling up on things that are already happening or it has a stated purpose, strong open weight, but they're just using it as a heavyweight tag and even more so having the heavyweight champions hold it. Like they're already like just doubling up so you may as well not be a thing. But if it was to okay. be a true open weight division, then that would be something else. Well, then when we think about it, how many actual legit tag teams are there right now in New Japan? Not enough, and there definitely could be if they put intentionality behind it. Okay, so and not just so, fixing so, the belts. You're, you're talking about fixing the actual... Um, booking of the company, the, the, yes. The booking of the company. <laughs> so, so look at look at it this way. Like, look at say TMDK, right? So you look yeah. at the roster of guys that you've got in that faction. You've got Zach, who's your world title type contender. You right. have Robbie, who is your junior title contender. You've got yep. um, you've got TMDK, who are your heavyweight title contenders. You've yep. then got. Fujita and Oiwa, who could be like your open weight sort of team contenders. But then you've also got the option of doing like Robbie and Fujita together to do like a junior tag contention. You know what I mean? Or you could do a trio situation where it's like TMDK and Robbie. Or you could do Big Teats, Oiwa and Fujita. Like it gives things and scenarios for people to do. But we and then you look at the different factions and you're like, this is looking a bit messy. What slots do we need to fill so they could be in contention? You look at just five guys. Like that could be a bigger scenario. And you go, okay, so let's put Sonata and uh Tai Chi in for heavyweight tag contention. Then let's do um fucking, I don't know, what's his name? Taka Michinoku and Doki and Doki in for junior contention. But then we could also do a combination of uh, Yuya when he gets back and Doki for like an open weight kind of contention. Like, And you could mix things around and do different things, you know. I think that's so, better. The, the bigger question is about the heavyweight titles and if there are too many or if it's just right, I think. Uh, so... I, I think what you're doing is you're saying we're going to get rid of the strong and the never because they're doing basically the same thing. We're going to right? repurpose them into one open weight division. Be it called never, uh, like it would either be called never or it would be like a new, it would just be like IWGP open weight. Actually, I think IWGP open weight would be better. IWGP yes. open, but open's written like the never. There you go. I'm already fucking writing this shit for you, New Japan. So and okay. then that becomes a that's new, just that's just the singles belt, right? That's just the singles belt, but then that creates a trend. So you go, okay, this Wrestle Kingdom, Shingo versus Gabe, f- to be the undisputed open weight champion, merging the belts, and then that creates the fucking legacy. So then the strong open weight belts then become IWGP open weight belts, the and the women's. Uh, there's no point in having a strong women's title. That should just merge to be an undisputed IWGP like women's title. And then you could, See, yeah, I think that would be better. So all you've got in open weight is singles title, tag, and then oh, and then the trios. Then the trios would change from never open weight six man or trios to open IWGP open trios. So you've got trios, tag, single, that's it, in open way. Is that not just reshuffling all the same shit? Yeah, but you're actually making it do something different and creating <laughs> slots for people rather than going, let's just have 
the same teams because we've only got a handful of them holding all the same belts because we haven't actually bothered to create another tag team. But it's like, no, this needs to be a junior and a heavy. So instantly you're creating new combinations. But the point is to get rid of no, well, I'm not finished superfluous yet. belts. I'm not finished. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, so far I've gotten rid of one belt. <laughs> no, I've gotten rid of two. So the women's has merged, so I've gotten rid of one belt. The yes. Never and the Open have merged, and now the Strong Tag and the Never Trio have aligned into a, a true open weight scenario. So, yeah? Okay. Now- okay. We ne- where we need we're looking at is the heavy belts, okay? Because they're the main ones. I've got no problem with a juniors title. I've got no problem with the juniors tag. I've got no problem with the heavyweight tag, and then all those open things. I think it's like, do we agree that there is too many heavyweight belts at the top? So IWGP, global, KOPW, TV title. Am I forgetting one? Is there any more? Four. Uh, so that's that's it as far as IWGP belts. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because we've we've talked about strongs and nevers. Mm-hmm. We've talked about the the, the women's title, mm-hmm. which there is not even a women's division. I don't know why we have two women's titles. That's what that's I mean. Pretty and it's like just do one, but then actually pay attention to it. Don't try and yeah. double book things or put it on people who aren't around. Like actually. Every show feature stardom wrestlers or whatever. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's what yeah. you do. Um, so, yeah, we've got World, Global, TV, KOPW, and you've talked about the Never already. Mm-hmm. So okay. let's talk about then KOPW. What is this piece of shit and do we want it? I, I They have talked about, you know, Okan doing things like for the different regions and stuff, and I, I think that's all very cool. I do think that could also be achieved with another belt or without a belt even. You know what I mean? Like you could have events that are based around things and put on in, in different regions. You don't have to necessarily have a title to do that. I feel like the KOPW has always been pretty fucking jumbled and the fact it resets every year is kind of dumb. So if anything, I feel like KOPW could just become a tournament like it was, well, it was kind of like a tournament at first and then Shingo's like, I want a fucking belt. And then they just gave him one and it sort of muddled it. So I feel like, and maybe I was even one of the people that was like, give him a belt just because Shingo had it. But like, I feel like KOPW could go. I like a belt that has a gimmick. Yeah. But what if they like that? Do we count KOPW as a title or do we count it as a tournament that just happens to have a belt as the trophy? Could it be a trophy, but like not remember when it used to have that tiny shit one? Like what if it had like a trophy with a bit of prestige to it and you thinned out the belts? Well, no, because we're still counting the trophies. We are, but we're also counting the physical titles that are being dragged around. I love a trophy. I'm, I I love a trophy. I do love a trophy. What if it was a wreath but- or a crown? What if it was a literal fucking crown? It's like King of Pro Wrestling. It's like King of the Ring. It runs every year as a mini tournament on the King of Pro Wrestling event because you've got an event called King of Pro Wrestling and then you've got a title called King of Pro or KOPW, whatever the fuck that is. So what if every King of Pro Wrestling leading up to Wrestle Kingdom, you have a mini King of the Ring style tournament elimination that runs on the event? See, I think you're taking away what makes KOPW stupid and, and making it cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you want to run a mini one show tournament mm-hmm. like a Super J Cup? Yeah. Sort of, sort of thing. Yeah. But it's a heavyweight tournament. But a heavyweight. Oh, so, ooh, see, I'm. Or do I'm we make it an open weight tournament? No. An, oh, no. Yes. Shut up. A uh, true, <laughs> the King of Pro Wrestling tournament that runs on the King of Pro Wrestling event in October, always the same. So when I fucking go there, it's actually booked on a day I could go to. That is a true open weight tournament because they don't have one. It'd be a point of difference. And then you could get to like, it's fucking, it's Robbie Eagles and fucking Naito in the final. You know what I mean? Like you could do that kind of stuff to be, 
and you could tell those underdog stories where like a junior fucking manages to win it for the first time and thing like that. Okay, but then mm-hmm. at that point, mm-hmm. when do, what do we do with the Super J Cup? Super J Cup is your international tournament. I've already been through this. Okay. okay. <laughs> that's your overseas tournament. That's a, It's a special location only tournament and it runs in a different country every year. And you have multiple different uh, companies represented and things like that. Yeah. They, they're doing the Oceana Cup at the moment. It doesn't really have any New Japan guys in it, but the idea is that whoever um, wins it gets a shot at New Japan or something like that. But you could run the Super J Cup in different countries. It gets to be one each year. So say say this year was uh, Australia. The person who wins that wins the jacket, Ribera equivalent, like silk fucking gold jacket, and they get to call their shot and turn up in Japan at a show. And then like next year it's the UK and then the year after it's the US. It changes. And then that person is the international Super J Cup winner. Do you th- do you not think that the thing that makes the Super J Cup special is that it doesn't take place every year? Uh, I think that's the thing that makes it get forgotten. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you could do it. I mean, you could do it in many other years, but I just see them sort of doing like a British J Cup every now and then. I see them doing like the Oceana Cup. I see them doing sort of like strong bullshit. Like I see them doing like half ass tournaments everywhere. It's like that can just be like a sanctioned prestigious tournament super that J-Cup. means something. It's a Super J Cup. Yeah. There's only one this year and it's here. People need to fly. You want to see the Super J Cup this year? Go go to Australia. You want to see the Super J Cup this year? Get a t- ticket to Britain. Like that's how it goes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I dig We're that. going to Guam. We're in Guam this year. Jeff Jeff Cobb's in it. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. yeah. We're in we're in uh Wallakazoo, fucking Western Australia. Yep. And we're gonna in the middle of nowhere in a fucking Hell bingo yeah. hall. More ditch we're Australia. Have a Super J Cup. Yep. Hell yeah. That's it. I love it. Fixed it. So KOPW is now fixed. KOP and Super J we Cup saying- is fixed. But, no, because you were you were saying like, why would we have a King of Pro Wrestling tournament uh, if we were going to have a Super J Cup? And if, my answer was, if. King of Pro Wrestling will be an open weight tournament. Super J yes. Cup is a junior cup, and it's international. If we get a King of Pro Wrestling every year, mm-hmm. like they used to do the the King of the Ring or whatever, mm-hmm. does the winner automatically become a king character every year for a whole year yes Do we have no, king, no. <laughs> king robbie every <laughs> no they don't they don't have to adopt like the king booker type scenario but no, if they want to go that way always happened yeah that's what always happened in wwe and i think it would be hilarious to see king taichi you know what that's up to the person i mean stone cold won it and what do you do he fucking smashed the shit and cut the best promo in wrestling history you know what i mean it just depends on on the character. So if they want to lean into it and be a king boy, then they can. But if they don't want to, then that's also fine. A couple of kingy boys. Maybe they can do their own sort of king vibe. Like at the moment in Dude Where's My Ring, we don't have a title. We've got the king of the pit, and that person has a pretty fucking menacing-looking welded steel crown uh, that's like all spiky. It looks like something fucking Maleficent would wear. Like, you know, maybe Tai Chi does his own fucking... You know, opulent. What's the situation? Opulent. There's the yeah. word. That's the word I was yeah, looking for. Yeah, I was struggling for a second, but I found it. You found it. There you, you go. You got there in the end. All right. That's what we needed. And then, okay, okay. so last things, because this is supposed to be a speed round and we're blowing out and I'm about to go to Japan and not be able to speak to you for weeks. Um, touching quickly, the TV title. And I'm in my bed. Yeah, exactly. You're so. ready to go go to sleep. And we kind of are yeah. still technically supposed to do another episode. So I don't know how that's going to be the most speed round of all time. So- TV title. Do we need it? Yes, no. Yes. Okay. Okay. Then that stays. And then global and world, besides the global actually being the IC and the world actually being the V4 belt again, like uh, I have no problem with either of them. So we fixed it. There you go. New Japan we've, 6. we've gotten rid of one belt. And we've added another tournament. <laughs> no, we've gotten rid of two belts, one belt became a tournament. 
We've gotten rid of two belts and became, okay, so we've got now, three belts because we also got rid of the the women's merged as well. So the women's merged, mm-hmm. the men's merged, mm-hmm. and and the- we added one. We added one uh, tournament to to become a regular tournament, which mm-hmm. is a thing. Yeah. Fixed. I, I I think we were just rearranging deck chairs, man, yeah. on the Titanic. You and, know what I'm saying? I mean, we tell me not- tell me what you what you would pull out. I think I think that works. Maybe they've got the right amount of titles. They just need a little bit of finessing. I think they need a little bit of finessing. Mm-hmm. I think you're right. I I would love I would love to see this Jacob regular. I would uh, everything you're saying is everything I've ever wanted to hear. There you go. That's and it. I love you. That's why New Japan need to pay me to do it. Tell the people where to find That's us, guys. Well, you can find <laughs> us on uh, the uh, various internets yeah. at Itchy Bond Suite. Mm-hmm. You can uh, find our good friend Rafe Houston. And by the way, uh, good to meet you. I'm your good friend Curtis Spears. That's your bad friend <laughs> Rafe Houston. Oh, yeah. That's a that's a good one, eh? Yep. Uh, and Rafe. You can find him on the Instagram and the Twitters at uh, Faces Feels Cast. You can find me on Instagram at El Destructo eighty three. You can find me on Threads at El Destructo eighty three. That's my new jam right now. Threads, so, uh, Threads. So do that mm, thing. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. Get us, get at us on there because uh, we're going to be uh, taking more uh request for the wheel of wrestling spin the wheel mm-hmm. make the deal we will uh so that we yeah but you know when we'll be doing that at the like next month because i'm about to go to japan so check out all yeah. our links in the socials this is going to be a quick yep. wrap up because we're going to quickly fucking in this log back in and do the most speed rounders give you a taste of king of pro wrestling on october 14th you're ever going to taste but we don't have time we got to knock it out and get moving because i got to get packing. Bye. Goodbye. has been a count out podcast every year the wrestling observer hall of fame receives a new crop of potential inductees and on our new count out patreon series titled the ballot it's our job to discuss whether or not these newbies should become hall of fame wrestlers hello my name is ryan 19 every month a guest and i will analyze the regional careers of newly ballot wrestlers for the observer hall of fame are they day one votes do they belong at all Find out on the ballot every month on patreon.com forward slash cannot pod. Again, check out the ballot on patreon.com forward slash cannot pod. We hope to see you there.